Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this episode of Revealed. We're gonna keep it pretty brief with this one. We have something special for you at the end of this episode, but we don't do any of our finishing here in house. We actually sub it out to a couple of different finishers. Here in front of us, we have a few parts to two different vanities and they're actually going to go to two different finishers. Now I know this sounds like a logistical nightmare, but we often try to time the pickup and drop off, especially with smaller pieces like this, with other stuff that the finisher has. So today we're going to pick up a kitchen that the finisher has ready for us. And he's actually going to be finishing one of these vanities, this oak one here. It gets a natural specialty finish. So they're gonna take care of that. We'll drop this one off to them, pick up the kitchen. But first we wanna make sure that we're wrapping all of our pieces and parts before they leave the shop so that during transportation, they don't get jostled and damaged. And then same thing when we're picking the parts up, they have already wrapped everything for us so that we can bring them back here or straight to the job site without getting any damage to the finished product. So we're just gonna take our drawer fronts for instance. We're going to wrap these up individually so that there's no damage to any sides of them. We'll just keep them in a blanket. Here it's just folded over just a couple of times. so that every surface of these drawer fronts is protected. Since I still have room in this blanket, I'm also gonna grab the feet for this vanity and the filler strip and add them into this as well. Typically there's a lot of parts here, so we wanna make sure that we're utilizing the entire blanket and getting as many pieces inside each blanket as possible. These ones are small, so it's easier to handle, but when we get into larger panels, it does make it a bit more difficult to carry. We wanna be conscious of the weight. And especially in a situation like this, where we have panels that are different sizes, adding those legs in there make it a funky shape. We wanna make sure that we're wrapping this blanket up securely so that nothing falls out and gets damaged. So with the plastic wrap, really we just need to do the two ends, making sure that, again, nothing falls out. But because those feet that we put in here are on the smaller side and this blanket is open here in the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and add another roll to the middle. I know this seems like it can be a time consuming process, but to ensure that all of our pieces are protected, it is well worth the extra couple minutes spent to do so. So with the actual face frame of this vanity, it does have two return panels on it. So what we're gonna do here to protect this during transit and while it's at the finisher, is we're gonna go ahead and add a cleat going across the top here so that it is protected from those miters opening up. Now we're ready to bring these pieces over to the van. With the frame like this, I'm not actually going to wrap it up like I did with the drawer fronts. We'll just wrap it up once we place it into the van. So when we're loading up small vanities or small parts like this, we wanna make sure that we're securing them in. We're not going very far. So with something like a small vanity like this, we can just throw a bungee cord on there Something that's not going to move around too much, but it's not overly tightened and it would help prevent any potential damage. Are all these bumps up? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's like in a residential neighborhood and oh, then right. it's like, you're there. We're gonna back right here on this loading dock. Let me tell you about this loading dock. Our buddy Ian, oh, <laughs> can't do it. Can't do it with, with the camera. Our buddy Ian opened the doors one time and backed up a little too far and broke the f***ing taillights. Here, got all the small doors and stuff there. Got some longer pieces over there. Yeah. So as I had mentioned back in the shop, these guys are going ahead and wrapping all of the corners and all of the actual doors and panels themselves. So when we are loading it and transporting everything, there's no damage that actually happens to this finish. So I think we'll start with the cases try to get those to the back. We put um, the cleats on them, as you probably have seen, to keep them down so the finish doesn't get scratched. Over here. Got it. 
All right, and with that, we are packed up and ready to go. So let's hit the road, head back to the shop. So a couple of the other nice benefits to having everything wrapped up is, one, obviously it protects all of the finished products, but it also makes it a little bit easier for us to stack everything here in the van without them shifting during transport. Again, we're not going too far, so we don't need to strap everything down in this case. However, if we were going out a bit further, we would want to secure everything down a little bit more. So if you guys do have any questions or comments regarding the logistics or our finishing process, please be sure to drop them in the comments below and tag a friend, let them know about this channel. And please make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe for us. It means a lot. Stay tuned after this video, we are launching our holiday gift guide here at midnight. So be sure to check that out as well. And as always, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.